Mgosi Ukrestu Uyabosa. My name is Tembi Samkwebi from Parish of Woodlands. Today we are doing episode two of Gender-Based Violence Dialogue. Let us pray. Loving God, be with all men and women who are in doubt about their intimate relationships. Give them clarity of mind and peaceful hearts so that they can make good decisions guided by your love. Let those who must discern any abuse that may exist so that they can learn to care for themselves with your help. Let those who must acknowledge that they are harming the others so that they can learn to honor their own behavior and come to true repentance and amendment of life. Keep us all safe in our relationships. In Jesus' name, amen. Today we are discussing it domestic violence. What is domestic violence? Many articles in South Africa has shown increase in domestic violence during the lockdown. Restrictions on movement increases women's exposure to violent partners. Many women and kids were trapped with their perpetrators, unable to leave their homes. An increased amount of time in the presence of an abuser has increased the likelihood of victims, which resulted to violence attack. Domestic violence is any behavior that is meant for one to gain power or control over a partner or spouse or an intimate family member. It is a force of power in order to dominate control over a woman. It does not discriminate. It happened in all races all ages, all types of relationships, whether you are educated or illiterate. How can one identify signs of abuse? The signs of abusive relationship is whereby a partner calls you by names, discourages you to see your friends and family, becoming too jealous, threatens you when you don't agree with what they say, blames you for their violent behavior at home, apologized after he hits you, promised you that if it won't happen again, but still he continues doing it again. They sometimes offer you gifts, booking you spas, taking you on vacations. Some women even called it ukupoliswa. Hi, my name is Kadengshaya Uyang Polisa. Avoid certain topics at home out of fear that you will anger your partner. You are always scared of him. Nothing is right in his eyes. How can you see the perpetrator's tendencies? Perpetrators are good pretenders. They do it in a way that you feel like it's even impossible to leave them. They humiliate you in front of the partner, your, your partner. They always criticizing you. They blame you for the abusive behavior. Some treat you well in front of other people, but abuse you behind, behind closed doors. Threatens to harm your family if you ever, ever tell anyone about their abusive behavior. Don't husbands have the right to do what they want to? with their wives absolutely not men have a tendency of thinking that the wives are their property because now they have lobolat us they think that they can do anything that they want of which that is totally wrong and it is unacceptable is it true that domestic violence occurs in poor households domestic violence occurs whether the household the household has money whether you poor whether you are rich but our researchers uh, just uh, have revealed that 90 percent of the homes who are homes they are being um, violenced there is high rate of domestic violence like in a case whereby a partner is dependent on the other partner whether it's a male or female whether a partner is not working we, they, they, only, they, they try to, to be in control because they give you money to buy food, give, give you money for, to do everything. So they, they try to make sure that when you are not working, they swear by, they, they abuse you. 
others they come to an extent that they make you stop even working and then after that start abusing you have you been in an abusive relationship yes i have been in an abusive relationship how was your experience in my case i think i can relate with the many women in south africa i i, I guess 90 percent of women have been through to the same thing that I've been through. It was the case of financial abuse. My partner couldn't do anything. Like I was responsible for almost 90% of the stuff in the house, responsible for the electricity bills, to pay uh, kids, school fees, the grocery in the house, gee, almost everything in the house. So I, I have been through through a lot, but with with God, I try to make it work for me. How did you manage to get to get yourself out of that situation? As I said, uh, I, maybe I'm, I think I'm a, I'm a feminist. What I did, I sat down with a partner, and we discussed, and I showed him what what I'm responsible for because in my in my in my situation it was the fact that he is paying for his car he's got a, a half a million car that is paying for and then of which sometimes that half a million car when it's on repairs it becomes also part of me that even pays for that for that half a million car so what I did I tried to con convince him that no you know what uh, let's let's just rent it out this property while at the back mina, I'm looking for the other property because I was trying to pull it out away. So we rent, we rent it out. After we rent it out, then I managed to buy myself another property. And then I, I pulled out of that relationship because I've seen that the person that I'm with is really, really no, not for me. Because if you, you can allow the partner to do so much, honestly, it, it, it's not working. It, it really didn't work, but I have pulled out. So. I became right after that. Families or individuals who are experienced domestic violence and abuse are in the process of healing, both physically and emotionally, from multiple traumas of the mind, body and spirit. Some of these victims are people we don't know, but others we may know very closely. Unfortunately, too many victims suffer in silence and don't know who or where to turn to. It's important that we pray for their healing and restoration, turning to the only one who has the power to make all things new. Jesus said, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. You can find that on Matthew 5 verse 44. He also said, do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who abuse you. That is Luke 6 verse 27 to verse 28. Whether someone persecutes, abuses, hates, or curses us we are called to pray for them what God is doing with this command is make God a necessary part of enemy love we are to turn God when our enemy abuses us let us pray King of Kings your word instruct us on how to behave once on earth I pray that your word guides our partners so that they do not continue to respond with the anger that they have Lord, we must be quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to anger, because the anger of men does not produce your righteousness. Father, I pray that your word motivates the abuser's actions so that they can treat women the right way. Amen. Say